desperately needed to get groceries. I was to that point where you're just like having jello for breakfast. Most of the things that I got from Target, minus the Yu-Gi-Oh cards, are for camping. We needed a can opener, cutting board, what else did I get? Cleaning supplies. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards are for fun. The collection is growing. You know, ironically, I was gonna vlog yesterday, but I just didn't really have much going on. I filmed like like four advertisements and it was a lot of just like in my house on my computer so there was nothing fun going on for a vlog figured I'd wait until today and I didn't check the weather lo and behold it is raining all day like literally raining all day but I'm gonna get outside anyway it's not just rainy but it's like kind of windy and not not a great day it's been a little while, I, I've done some other like, some YouTube kind of stuff, and I got all of my like, urgent, urgent work done yesterday, so today, I don't really have any other videos to make, aside from YouTube stuff, it's all, I'm just waiting for products to show up, or companies to give me feedback on videos so I can finalize them, it's a very blah kind of day for making advertisements and also the weather. Even though I'm waiting for some advertisement products to show up, there are some packages that are definitely going to show up today, and it's Christmas presents for family members, all that stuff. I've already gotten most of my Christmas shopping done for like 90% of the people that I need to shop for, but I'm still trying to get stuff for two more people. One is my niece, and the other person is my girlfriend. Don't tell her that, but... I really don't know what to get her. That's She's a little tougher to shop for. Okay, so here's something completely off topic, but yet I was thinking about it last night, and as soon as I thought about it, I wrote it down and wanted to put it in this video today. So last night, as I was sitting down in the evening around like seven o'clock, I was thinking about how I was actually excited to go do my workout that I did this morning. And I was thinking, that's like one of the first times in a long time that I've actually been like genuinely excited to go do a workout. I know that might sound kind of crazy, like why would you get excited for a workout, but when you get into a routine, once you're like doing something you enjoy, you get excited for it. Like, I get excited to go mountain biking or I get excited to go on a road trip. It's not to that same level, but I do look forward to working out. And I haven't had that feeling in a while where I was genuinely looking forward to a workout. And I didn't realize it, but I had kind of gotten into this this mode where it was just like, oh, go do the workout, do my thing, go home. There wasn't any like extra feeling behind it. And it's honestly been like a few years since I've felt that feeling. And I think I'm gonna blame that on personal training. Since I was in the gym all the time, constantly helping clients with workouts, working out with them, doing my own workouts, it was just so much in the gym all the time where working out was just really a regular part of my entire day. I remember back in high school, like really getting amped up for a workout and looking forward to it because I was starting to know what I was doing, I was seeing results, all that kind of thing. And then that feeling kind of faded away as exercise became my career. So why did that feeling come back? Like it went away for a couple of years, what got it back? And for one, now that I'm no longer personal training, I'm not in the gym for 10 hours a day. It's an hour, five days a week. And two, I had changed up my routine. If you know much about exercise, you can't just do the same thing all the time, 12 months out of the year, 365 days of the year. You have to change, change it up a bit. So I was kind of doing the same thing for a while, and I decided to change it up and go into a different phase with strength training. We're not gonna get too much into the details, but I went into a new phase and started seeing results and feeling different. Now that I've changed up my workouts, it's kind of more exciting to do because it's different. I don't mean for this to be like a motivational kind of thing, but just as a small tip of advice, is if you're feeling bored with workouts or you don't have motivation, try to find something new. It doesn't need to be above and beyond, but just try something maybe a little bit different 
something you might enjoy more than you thought you would have. I hope that helps you guys because it helped me with without me even trying. On a different note, right over here, there's a, an urban ecology center, which I'm in this park. I film here a ton, but it's it looks like I'm out in nature, like that lagoon, the lake there, but I am like basically smack dab in the middle of Milwaukee right now. There is just rain and mist over everything. But that right there was or is the Urban Ecology Center. I think they're tearing it down. Weird. Remember how last week it was all snowy and beautiful and amazing? Or now, seven days later, it's rain and blah. And speaking of rain, I'm going back home. My camera is about to die and I'm cold. All right, everybody. Got some more video stuff done. I have more to do still today. Scripting, all that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching this short, simple little vlog. Hope you enjoyed the rainy day. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one.